that, let's get right to it, guys. We're going to do some debate. We're going to do some true and false. We're going to do some bold predictions. Let's start with our topics. Bottom line, guys, this team is one and three. So I'm going to ask you, Michael, is the season over? Relative to what? Is it over? <laughs> to, to win, to being able to have a possibility is, to go deep there, in the playoffs in the Super Bowl? Is there anything left to play for for this team? Uh, well, listen, every time you go out there, if you're a player in the NFL with a, a short life expectancy, there's always something to play for. You would hope that they look at it that way. But realistically, from a team goal standpoint, the fact that you think from here they're going to be able to go somewhere in the neighborhood of nine and three, to be able to possibly be a playoff team, and isn't that what everybody starts the year at? We've got to aspire to be a playoff team. Well, that, that, that's folly, that's not going to happen. So, but there's, uh, I, I don't know, probably in the organization from the general manager, the head coach to, I don't know, 35 players on down, there's a whole lot of jobs on the line. So they better be ready to show that they want to stay a part of the NFL. But Chris, they say they like to say it's a black and white business. It's yeah. wins or losses. They were seven and nine a year ago. Yeah. I mean, they're one and three now. What are you kidding me? Is the season over? No. Oh, Ray Farmer's coming back to <laughs> save the day, don't you know? Ray Farmer's coming back to watch all of his first round picks not perform on Sundays. Look, the only way that I can answer this question, guys, is to say this: the Browns, the NFL, did them a favor. They started them out to get off to a good start build some momentum, build some confidence. They played against the Jets. They played against the Titans and a rookie quarterback. Oakland coming on the road. They never win on the road, ever. Ever. And then week four, you've got San Diego completely banged up, mm -hmm. missing two wide receivers throughout the game, a couple of cornerbacks. The offensive line is in shambles. Uh, that's not a team that is like the Seattle Seahawks or the New England Patriots. So the NFL tried to get the Browns off to a good start. The NFL really, really tried. They just played, to me, their four most winnable games, and they're one in three. So the chances of them going eight and eight, if that was their goal coming into this year, I don't know what their goals were, but can they go eight and eight? No. Can they show that they're making up ground in the AFC North? No. So whatever their goals were, I don't know, I would say yes, the season is essentially over in terms of reaching those goals. All right, bud, what do you think? Well, I'm going to have to side with Bluto on this one. It's the only <laughs> believable rallying cry I can come up with. And until they start losing uh, division games, which, in other words, I'm asking people to wait at least another six days, um, I think you still have to give them a little bit of a chance. Now, I'm not saying it's a big chance. But I think until they lose to Cincinnati and Baltimore and Pittsburgh, I disagree with Chris that they still have a chance to prove that they've made up some ground in the division. I thought that they did it a little bit last year in dominating Cincinnati, dominating Pittsburgh. I don't have a hold out a lot of hope that we're going to see that team again, but I think we have to give them a chance to play some, some games in the division first. 